Hello and welcome to PA Academy. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to divide a circle into 12 equal parts. So if you have a circle and you have to divide into 12 equal parts, how do you go about it? So I'm going to put you through in this video and at the end of this video, you'll be able to divide any circle. I repeat, any circle into 12 equal parts. And guess what? It is very simple and easy. So before we get into this video, if you are yet subscribed to PA Academy, can you click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel? And if you are finding this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. So thank you very much if you have just subscribed. The subscribe button is just down below. Please click on it and the little bell icon beside it. So in demonstrating this uh, example in this video, we are going to be using a circle with a radius of 6 cm. So now let me construct, uh, draw the circle. So the radius of 6 cm. So I'm measuring 6 cm with my compass and my ruler. So now I'll draw a circle. So right now we already have our circle. So the next thing is to draw a line that will across the center. That is a diameter. So let me call this point A and then point B. So I also divide this, uh, draw another diameter across it. That means a line perpendicular to line AB. So I'll use my compass to measure angle 90 so that they can be uh, perpendicular. So you can also use your compass to you know, draw a line that is perpendicular to line AB. All right, so let's call this line CD. So now what you want to do, like I said, we are dividing this circle into 12. Right now what we have is, is 4, but we are going to be dividing it into 12. So now we bring back our compass. Now with the same radius that we use in drawing the circle, don't forget this is a radius of, use, uh, use a radius of 6 cm. Now with the same radius, we are going to place it on point A, Point A, B, you know, all these, these four points. So this is what I mean. So let's start with point A. So from point A, you put your compass with the same radius you used to draw the circle. You draw an arc. You go to the other part of the circle. You draw an arc. So the same thing, with, let's do it to point B, uh, point D now. I'm on point D. So I'll draw an arc. And I'll draw an arc on this other quadrant. I mean, I'm on point B. I'll draw an arc on the circumference of the circle and I'll draw an arc. Now I'm on point C, draw an arc, and then I'll draw an arc. So now let me label all these points. Let me call these points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So what we want to do is that we are going to draw a line from line 1, from point 1 rather, so from point 1 to point 7, from point 2 to point 8, from point 4 to point 10, from point 5 to point 11. So let's do that. So with my pencil and my ruler. So from point 1 to point 7. And those points will also pass through the center of the circle. So if yours is not passing through the center of the circle, then that means there is a mistake somewhere. So from point 2 to point 8. So we've done this. So now we are on this from point 2 to point 8. And then from point 4 to point 10. Then from point 0.5 to point 0.11. So you can see now we've been able to divide the circle into 12. So this 12 equal parts. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six. I hope you are seeing it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we've been able to divide the circle into twelve equal parts. So this is how you go about it in this video. And in the next part of this video, I'm going to be showing you another method of dividing a circle into twelve equal parts. That video will be appearing somewhere in the year as this video is rounding up. So if you are, if you find this video helpful, kindly give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to PA Academy. Do make sure you also visit our website, paacademy.co. That is paacademy.co. So if you have any question or any uh, video suggestion for me or video ideas for me, do leave them in the comment section below. And uh, with that, guys, I'll see you all in another video. Meanwhile, the next video, that the second method I'm going to be showing you will come up right here. Thank you.